In northern Wisconsin, the seasons are changing here and uh, it's starting to be musky season and the days aren't very hot. Uh, it is a little bit rainy, so you get a little bit of dark days out here, but that's pretty conducive to musky fishing. My name is Chris Willand, and I've been working in northern Wisconsin and Tennessee for about eight years. You know, getting to the river is sometimes a little bit of a chore, but it's totally worth it. You get out here and you get to be out in the elements and out in just beautiful watersheds where there's just not that much pressure, not that many people. So nice to be away from it all. Musky fishing is tough. There's days where it's great and you move a ton of fish and you catch some fish and that's great, but a lot of it is grinding. It's for somebody that's got to be really, really willing to put the work in to get the big reward. It's hard to describe, it's just something that you can't get away from. The next time you could hook up to the biggest fish of your life and it's just, I mean, that's the main thing that just keeps you going and keeps the, the fuel on the fire is that that personal best muskie could be one cast away. Sore arms and long days and a little bit of lack of sleep, but you just stay on the grind and you know, the fish hit the net eventually. T tough day, tough day. Cold, raining, uh, lots of rain. <laughs> Sideways rain, stinging rain. <laughs> There's not a lot of other fish out there where if you catch one all day, you have like a killer week. On the front side, you know, of the cold front like that, I mean, tomorrow could be better. Nice to be away from it all. You know, just get away from the daily grind and have people come up and I get to show them, you know, a good time and show them something nice and quiet. Kind of moved everything, packed everything up, moved into a camper and started doing it. Crappie as f***. <laughs> I mean, the main thing that drew me to Wisconsin was just the availability of so much musky water. You can't throw a rock around here and have it land in a puddle without there being muskies in it for the most part. You know, we just went out trying to get on these muskies and uh, you know, it's been a little difficult, but we're gonna, we're gonna pull one out here. We're the best around. Nothing ever gonna get us down. <laughs> I always put that on my phone when we're struggling. <laughs> Anybody that has musky fished for an extended period of time knows that there's a couple days where you don't get them. And then maybe tomorrow we get a couple. <laughs> grinder. Two day grinder. He's still yeah. So after every musky trip you kind of just look back and reflect and see what you learned and what you saw and you know sometimes you saw nothing and that's something to think about too or other times you saw slow chasing fish or fast moving fish or fish reacting to flies quickly or fish reacting to flies that are paused and you know it's just take all that information and, and try to process it a little bit because you never know what last muskie is going to get you your next muskie. So it's just being on the grind and trying to figure it out.
<laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen, fly fishing for muskie with Chris Willen, and there you see it. You know, two days in a row, no muskies. After we left, Chris caught two, and then the following day caught three. So you got to have a good personality to uh, to fish through the rain for a couple days and still have fun, and Chris definitely has that. I hope you enjoyed it. Click here to subscribe to our page, and we'll see you in the next video.